Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this particular lecture, I am going to talk about microsatellites and mini satellites. What are mini satellites? What are microsatellites? What are they doing in our genome? What are their role in our genome? We are also going to talk about some important properties of mini satellites and microsatellites. Okay, so let's start with it. You probably have heard these terms. Remember, let me write micro and mini satellites. Okay, now <clears throat> we know what satellites are in a broader context, but not in a context context of genomic DNA. Now the satellites are nothing but the DNA sequence. In very simple terms, I can say this is nothing but DNA sequence inside our genome. Inside our genome. This is what it is, right? Basically, stretch of DNA sequence that is present inside the genome. So, there is no big deal in it. So, these are base pairs, okay, simple base pair sequences. Now, the microsatellites and mini satellites are base pair sequences, but they are known as a particular category of base pair sequence known as tandem repeats. Tandem repeats. Now, what is a tandem repeat? It is a repeated uh, presence of specific base pairs. For example, I will give you a simple example here. Let us say A, A, G, C, T, G, A. For example, this one with uh, 7 uh, base pairs as you can see. A, A, G, C, T, G, A. And this particular sequence gets repeated. So, the same sequence A, A, G, C, T, G, A. And this sequence is going to be repeated. Okay? How many times? It can be repeated 100 times. It can be repeated thousand of the times in a genome. That repeat sequence will be known as tandem repeat because this, six, this seven base pair repeat sequence is being repeated. Okay, these are tandem repeats, and these tandem repeats are classified as mini satellites as microsatellites. Now, when will they will be classified as mini? When they will be classified as micro is something that we are going to discuss now. So, for this two categories, two, two separate category of uh, satellites, micro and mini satellites, you can say that mini satellites are bigger in size, micro satellites are smaller <coughs> in size. So, uh, the, the mini satellites are generally ranging from 10 to 60 base pair repeats. So, this repeat that we draw here, it was 7 base pair only, but in reality mini satellites generally range 6, 10 to 60 base pair repeats, while micro satellites range from uh, what we can say is that 6 to 10 base pair repeats. So, the mini satellites are almost 10 times bigger than micro satellites in terms of the repeat sequence. Now, how many times this repeat sequence are found? That is another concept. How many times? Times for the mini satellites, it is found thousand of times. For micro satellites, it is found hundred of times. That is why I mentioned it can be found hundred times or thousand times. Mini satellites are found thousand of times in a genome where microsatellite is found hundred of times in a genome okay so this 6 to 10 base pair repeat sequence such hundred times for microsatellites and thousand uh, 10 to 60 base pair repeat thousand times seen for mini satellites okay that is the <coughs> primary difference between mini satellites and microsatellites now one more difference a major difference is also there and that is regarding their position, where are they present, right? For that, I will move to the next uh, slide here. You can see the chromosome that we know, if I draw it like this, let us say this is a centromere. So, this is centromere of the chromosome and this is a telomere of the chromosome. This is also telomere, okay? I believe you all know what centromere, what telomere is. I am not going to explain it now. But centromere play important role in terms of chromosomal segregation during cell division and telomere is required to protect the end information 
in a uh, in the chromosome so generally there are <coughs> more satellites found near these regions in the blue color that i draw okay and these are nothing but mini satellites so mini satellites are mostly found where in the centromere and in the telomeric region of the chromosome and <clears throat> most of this part of telomeric and centromeric region of the chromosome are non coding remember non coding so the mini satellites are present mostly in the non coding region of the chromosome non coding element of the chromosome because our eukaryotic chromosome we are talking about eukaryotic chromosome we have a uh, coding elements and we have non coding elements but remember non coding elements are very important as regulatory elements in the transcription of specific genes so they act as regulatory elements and these mini satellites are mostly found in this <coughs> regulatory elements okay so they are present mostly in the telomeres so we have repeated sequence in the telomeres so that if even after every single round of dna replication if they cut some portion of the nucleotides out but still uh, the chromosome remains intact it continues to do its function okay so mini satellites are mostly present in the non coding elements while micro satellites are present so let me write micro satellites can be found both in the coding as well as in the non coding region of the dna of the genome right so micro satellites which are smaller ones smaller repeats are present both in coding and non coding elements of the dna while mi satellites are mostly present in the non coding elements of the genome that is another big difference between the two now you may ask yourself a question why do you have this repeated sequences now from where they originated now the answer to that is not very simple we know now that most of them are present in a non coding element which are in turn regulating the way the expression of a gene can be done but we don't know the exact function it plays right now the function is regulatory function it's not about producing a protein so their job is not to to help in producing a protein but to regulate which protein will be produced and how much of that protein will be produced because they are a part of regulatory element so they can regulate gene expression they can regulate which gene to express which gene not to express at times and also how much a particular gene should be expressed this regulation is being controlled by this non coding elements uh, because we have some activator elements repressor elements all are present in the genome and they are the part of the micro satellites and mini satellites okay particularly the mini satellites now why like how they originated we kind we have a theory like they have originated some point earlier in the evolution of the genome uh, where they have originated from some place like uh, the organism evolved so as this genetic makeup changed evolved with time and they have originated it somewhere those sequences might have some role in production of proteins earlier but no longer involved in the protein production so they remain as a, a junk dna a part of a junk dna or non coding dna element okay that is one uh, thing that we can say and second thing is that what is their uh, what are their feature like why how what are their uh, use in the genome as i told you the use for this is regulation regulation of gene expression and not only regulation of gene expression but also as it's a repeated sequence that are present it can disrupt it can disrupt uh, the gene regulation as well okay the way the gene is being regulated it can be disrupted by the presence of this micro satellites and mini satellites which in turn is going to cause uh, alteration of the gene expression and that is a part of the gene regulation as well so these are uh, 
something. Uh, so if we have repeated sequences, let's say repeated sequences someplace that act as a what we can say as a marker, right? As a marker and this marker is going to alter, it's going to change, right? If it's going to be found someplace else like this, it's going to change and alter, which helps in the process of genomic genomic evolution genomic evolution and diversity that actually causes the diversity change the diversity change actually leads to the evolution so genomic diversity can be altered based on the way microsatellites and mini satellites are present in the genome and as they change the genomic diversity that genomic diversity change can lead to the genomic evolution that is the purpose of the microsatellites and mini satellites that we now know is present okay but what about utilizing these microsatellites and mini satellites in modern day analysis why do we read this why do you require to understand this because as it is a tandem repeat we can use them as a marker just as i wrote here we can use them as a marker and when we can use them as a marker we can use it for different uh, activities for example this marker may not be the same between you and me. This might, marker might change between you and me. So in this case, this marker, we use it as a marker to have a genomic fingerprinting or in simple terms, the DNA fingerprinting studies. So DNA fingerprinting studies can be uh, done with the help of the mini satellites, with the help of the micro satellites. Micro satellites particularly are, are involved mostly in the changing of genomic diversity because micro satellites are more prone to mutation compared to mini satellites that's another big difference micro satellites which are smaller are more prone to uh, mutation more prone to uh, changes thus causing change in the genomic diversity thus causing genetic evolution so that is the job of micro satellites but the mini satellites that can be used as a marker for dna fingerprinting analysis while micro satellites are predominantly used in forensic science example is CODIS marker let me write CODIS CODIS marker is used CODIS marker is nothing but a kind of micro satellites micro satellite marker which we use in the forensic studies or forensic analysis of the sample okay so these are the requirements for paternity testing we can use micro satellite uh, mini satellites and for genomic diversity studies we use micro satellites we use CODIS marker for which is a micro satellite for the purpose of forensic investigations so these are all the applications of micro satellites and mini satellites that we generally use these days nowadays okay so these are all important information regarding the micro satellites and mini satellites that i want you to know nothing but the dna sequence and I, I told you about their features and i told you about the differences between micro satellites and mini satellites and you now know the mini satellites and micro satellites origin why they play important role in the genomic diversity which in turn caused genomic evolution help us to understand the the dna fingerprinting the differences in the genome between even members of the same species right so these are the different uh, choice and differences between mini satellites and micro satellites. I believe you have a clear idea on mini satellites and micro satellites after watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.